Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The U.S. military has been investing heavily in robotics over the years, with the goal of creating advanced autonomous systems that can support their operations. These efforts have resulted in partnerships between the military and leading robotics companies, intending to develop robots capable of navigating complex environments and completing missions quickly and accurately. Some of these companies include Boston Dynamics, a robotics firm known for its humanoid and animal-like robots, ClearPath Robotics, which specializes in unmanned ground vehicles, and iRobot, the maker of the popular Roomba vacuum cleaner, which also produces robots for military and security purposes. Currently, the military is testing multi-million dollar super robots to enhance their capabilities further. Carrying heavy loads across challenging terrain is a common task for soldiers in the field. But what if there was a robot that could carry that weight for them? Meet the Legged Squad Support System, or LS3. Developed by Boston Dynamics, the LS-3 is a robotic pack mule designed to accompany soldiers on missions and carry their cumbersome equipment. With four robotic legs, the LS-3 can navigate through rugged terrain and keep up with troops on the move. Equipped with sensors and GPS, it can follow its human handlers and even detect and avoid obstacles in its path. With a payload capacity of up to 400 pounds, the LS-3 can carry gear such as ammunition, food, and water, allowing soldiers to focus on their mission without being weighed down by heavy backpacks. Unfortunately, the LS3 project has been shelved due to the fact that these machines are just too noisy. Still, it is just one example of the cutting edge technologies being developed by the US military to enhance the capabilities of their troops. The robot dog is a bit quieter and was a powerful asset for military and security operations for the brief period it served for. Can you move him around again? You're good. Developed by Boston Dynamics, the robot dog can accompany troops on missions and assist with tasks such as reconnaissance and surveillance. Recently, the 142nd Fighter Wing Security Forces tested the autonomous canine at the Kingsley Field Air National Guard Base in Oregon to demonstrate its capabilities for a crowd of onlookers, including local law enforcement. 
Many were impressed by its agility and the way it moved, which mimicked that of a biological dog. <laughs> While some remarked that it could be improved with a tail that wags enthusiastically, there was no denying the robot dog's potential to enhance base defense and other security operations. In fact, robotic technology has become a game changer for exploring risky and dangerous places like tunnels. What we've set out to do is develop a payload that provides the capability to autonomously exploit underground facilities, as well as bring in additional sensor data to provide a broader operational understanding environmental understanding of, of the sub T through the, the payload that can be integrated across multiple platforms. In order to do that effectively, we've contracted asymmetric solutions. Tunnel exploration robots, like these developed by asymmetric solutions, are designed to inspect and survey tunnels for potential hazards and send back real-time data to human operators. These robots are equipped with advanced sensors and cameras that can capture images, video, and other data, allowing operators to assess the situation without putting themselves in harm's way. Robots are also used for training purposes. This fake dog, called a diesel dog, is a highly advanced robot helping Army veterinarians learn how to operate on a real dog in a stressful wartime scenario. There are oftentimes very few veterinarians available um, to get to a canine casualty in a sufficient and timely manner. Um, so we train these guys on canine first aid and tactical combat care. A diesel dog simulates a working dog in action. They can be used to practice procedures without harming a patient. They are incredibly realistic, capable of bleeding and even barking during surgery. The diesel dog is programmed to simulate a range of medical conditions, such as gunshot wounds, burns, and broken bones. It can also simulate the effects of various medications and treatments, allowing the medics to practice administering the appropriate medical care in a realistic and immersive environment. The use of diesel dogs in military medic training has been shown to be highly effective in preparing medics for the challenges of real-world scenarios. By providing a realistic and immersive training experience, diesel dogs help medics develop the skills and confidence they need to save lives on the battlefield. In order to retrieve an injured soldier without risking another soldier's life, the military intended to rely on robots at one point, or should we say, a system of robots. Using sensors on the top, front, and sides of the vehicle, and mechanical arms to control the brakes and gas and turn the steering wheel, the Cairo system saved the military millions of dollars by turning existing vehicles into robots without requiring extensive modifications or expensive new hardware. Ground X vehicle, or GXV, is another type of vehicle that uses sensors to know where it's going. 
but it does not need to be operated by a human driver. Developed by the U.S. Army's Tank Automotive Research, Development, and Engineering Center, TARDEC, in partnership with a defense contractor, Honeywell, it is designed to provide enhanced survivability and mobility for soldiers on the battlefield. What makes this vehicle unique is that the driver can drive it even though there is no transparent windshield or windows. Robots aren't just limited to ground vehicles. Some helicopters are also now made to be autonomous. This demonstration in 2014 combined unmanned air and unmanned ground vehicles to conduct a completely unmanned planned resupply mission. One of the primary advantages of having an autonomous helicopter at the ready is it can be used for reconnaissance in a heavily defended or hostile area. Autonomous helicopters are also useful for completing tasks repetitive for human pilots, such as monitoring large areas or conducting search and rescue operations. While a robotic plane is still in development, the military is getting closer to such a futuristic idea becoming a reality. The conceptual DARPA X-Plane, complete with powerful Rolls-Royce engines, was developed in partnership with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. While it never got off the ground, so to speak, the idea was to create an aircraft that incorporated a high degree of automation and advanced flight control systems. beyond Earth's atmosphere. Robots, rather than astronauts, may soon be responsible for the upkeep of satellites. Late last year, engineers at the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory's Naval Center for Space Technology successfully completed a round of tests of this new technology. It's designed to provide autonomous servicing capabilities to satellites in orbit. Once it's given the green light, this tech has the potential to significantly reduce the costs and risks associated with maintaining and repairing satellites, which is particularly important given the increasing importance of satellite technology in modern warfare. The world of robotics has limitless potential in the military. From the Legged Squad Support System, LS3, and the Kairos Autonomous Driving System, to unmanned helicopters and the NRL's innovative robotic servicing of satellites. As robotics technology continues to evolve, we are sure to see even more awe-inspiring advances, such as swarms of autonomous drones and battle-ready robots. With these new developments, the military will be better equipped than ever before to face the complex challenges of a rapidly changing world and achieve feats that were once thought impossible. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.